What's up, YouTube family? Mark here from McNeely Empowerment TV. I hope you all are doing great out here today. Welcome to the video. Uh, welcome to the channel if you're brand new. Man, this video here is very, very, um, it's a heartfelt video. Um, I was led to release this video to you all. This is probably one of the videos that is the most heartfelt video that I probably have ever done for the simple fact that there's so much going on right now. There's so much going on as it relates to the end times. We are near, ladies and gentlemen, we are in the near the end times. We're near the end times. We're in the end times where there's natural disasters. There's wars. There's rumors of wars. There's earthquakes. I mean, when you look at this natural disaster, this hurricane that just hit through Asheville, North Carolina. My prayers are with you all, everybody, all of the loved ones, all of the people in uh, North Carolina that has lost their businesses, their homes, their livelihood, even their children and family members. There's thousands of people that are still deceased that they cannot find, covered under bodies of water. It almost reminds you of like a pharaoh type effect. Man, my, my, my heart just goes out to everybody, man. This is just unbelievable. But it brings me to the scripture that says that we should not put our trust in worldly things. We should not even put our trust in one another, but we should put our trust in the Lord. Because it is him, it is he that will bring us, bring us joy. It is he that will bring us comfort. It is he that will save us. So my heart goes out to those of you that have experienced the trauma from Hurricane Helen and also that is experiencing or getting ready to experience this new Hurricane Milton. I'm actually in the state of Florida and Hurricane Milton is on its way. I just want to leave this with you all it's been ringing in my spirit. And I said, I have to get on here and release this information to you all. I can't imagine the pain that you all are feeling right now. The pain of sorrow, the pain of mourning and loss, the loss of your home, loss of your livelihood, everything you work so hard for. Man, it, it, it's, it's just unbelievable. But in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter three, verses one through four, and I'm paraphrasing. If you want to go back, you can read it. Um, that text, it talks about there's a time and a season for every activity under heaven. We are under heaven. So there's a time and a place and a season for all these different things, for all of us to experience different things. I've experienced under, under heaven, I've experienced a measure of trauma. And, and for me, that was a time of sorrow and sadness and heartbreak and trauma that I wouldn't wish on no man or a woman. But you have other people who have lost everything in their homes, right? They've lost family members and relatives from this natural disaster, from these storms. But I will say this. The scripture tells us that we must keep our eyes on him. And I know that's so hard to do when everything you've built, everything you've worked for has just been washed down like a tsunami, just washed down the drain. That, that's very hard to deal with. But I will say that Jesus tells us that do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, although you have every right to be. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. I don't care if you're in a shelter. I don't care if you're stuck on a tree. If you call on the name of Jesus, he will be there for you. And although it may not make sense in that moment, because a lot of things don't make sense to me in those moments. When you're going through trauma, you it doesn't make sense. It makes you question a lot of things. A lot of things about the government, a lot of things just about nature, a lot of things it makes you question. 
but you cannot take your eyes off of God. You can't take it off of the Lord Jesus because it is he that is going to give us the comfort and the peace to get through these difficult times. I just want to encourage somebody today because guess what? Hurricane, natural disasters, you, you can't control it. You can't control it. Um, for those of you that are not in the storm's eye or within the storm's reach, don't take these times for granted. Run to the Lord. Run to God. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter three, verses one through four, it talks about a season. There's seasons. And I don't understand why we have them. But obviously, the Bible tells us that all things work it together for the good of them that love the Lord and are called according to his plan and purpose. So if you are called according to the Lord and you are called according to his plan and his purpose, he has a purpose for you, for your life, whatever you're going through. I don't care if it's trauma. I don't care if you lost someone. I don't care if you lost everything. He is going to help you through those moments. You just have to trust that he's going to do it. And I'm going to leave this. Last two scriptures with you, Isaiah 41 and 10 says, fear not, fear not, for I am with you. All right. Who is I? Who is with me? God is with you. The Lord is with you. And he's going to do what? He's going to strengthen you and he will help you through every adversity, every challenge, every test that you go through, every traumatic situation. He's going to help you. So don't be afraid. A lot of people are afraid right now storm is coming what is it going to do am i going to have a home to go back to um what, what what's the end going to be trust in the lord and lean not to your own understanding god's understanding is greater than your understanding and it's greater than my understanding you've got to trust and lean on the lord man you have to you have no other choice psalms 9 and 9 says that we should trust in God in both the good and the bad times. A lot of times, man, we take for granted God's love, his joy, his grace, or even our happy seasons where it seems like everything is going well in our lives. We've got money in the bank. We got a beautiful home. We drive nice cars. Our kids go here to private school or whatever the case may be. But do not forget the Bible says in Ecclesiastes that every man shall experience a season under the heavens. And it's different seasons, a season of sorrow, a season of joy. There's, all of us are going to have to experience some measure of a season here under the heavens. But it is what we do and how we manage in that season. That's what matters, how we manage, how we maintain our relationship with the Lord during those seasons of I lost it all. Job lost everything. He lost his son. He lost his home. He lost his wealth. He lost everything. But what he did not do was he did not curse God. He cursed the day he was born, but he did not curse God. I want to encourage you all. Don't curse God. Run to him. Because this is how you prove your sonship to him when times are bad, when times are tumultuous, when times are just not going your way. This is how you prove your sonship. And it is in these moments when we have to call on the name of the Lord and he will give us what we need at that time, whether it's more joy, whether it's more understanding, whether it's more peace, more knowledge. He's going to give it to us supernaturally. So I just wanted to shoot this video. I know it's a lot going out here. Everybody's, you know, there's so many people lost their lives in Hurricane Helen, so many people, you, we can't even find their bodies. It's just unimaginable. Um, respectfully, they said this, the smells that is coming from the area of just dead bodies. 
man, it's just, it's unimaginable, man. But I, I just want to leave this with you all. Put your trust in the Lord. Fear not. Know that God is your source, that God will complete you. And even in your season of difficulty, even in your season of loss, know that Jesus is there and he is going to give you the peace. He says, be strong. He told Joshua, be strong and courageous. I know these storms creates a lot of fear. They really, really destroy a lot of stuff. But he said, be strong. Be strong. Just as Peter, when Peter walked on the water, he said, be strong. Don't fear. Keep your eyes. We must keep our eyes, ladies and gentlemen, on the Lord. So be strong. Stay safe and stay prayed up. And uh, my prayers are with you all. My prayers is with Everyone in North Carolina, Asheville, those that have lost their lives and lost everything. We're praying for support and aid. And even Hurricane Milton, we're praying for support and aid during this time of devastation. I love you all. Uh, comment, let me know. We'll pray with you. Let me know that you're safe. To God be the glory. Until the next video, we'll see you. God bless.